All right, so we're going to get everything started here. Once again, guys, thanks for tuning in. I am Turbo here, joined by She's Electric, a.k.a. Holly, my best friend. She's my best friend. <laughs> uh, we have a show match going on between Hex P and Death Row. Uh, Hex P was able to come out with a win on that first side of uh, CTF on bootleg. Now we're going to jump into an S&D where it's a whole different ball game to see how they go through it. Maybe we'll even see Samsers pull out that sniper rifle where he got a nice poot uh, poo teeth? <laughs> Two piece. <laughs> <laughs> on, he does uh, have bootleg. it actually. He does have it out, and uh, he might go for a quick switch here, and he does. He switches over to the M16. In fact, the gun that we were talking about earlier, XP. Now pushed up all the way by the B side. He's gonna spot Famous. Nice job anticipating where he was. He was gonna take him out, but shortly after, he got taken out by Pi. <gasps> Two piece touchdown oh, by no. Christo. Following it up with a third piece right there on Samzors to get the win. One lead right now for Death Row. Over. XP. That's what happens when Hex P starts holding hands in the middle of the match. And I'm not trying to call you out, Pi, Quig, Uber, you know, I'm just saying. I did play with Pi for a while. I was going to be on Hex P first blood before uh, they're not a team anymore. But, so I know things about Pi. <laughs> I love Pi, dude. He's, he's getting too close to his teammates right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and take that as it is. We're going to see Uber there with the first kill off on Antrim. Caristo sitting with a bomb in the B stairwell. Slap watching the flank as Famous is going to be watching that first archway. Now, neither side is or neither side being overly aggressive. There was a first kill off, though, so the guys from Death Row do have to play a little bit more passive and uh, make sure that the flank is taken out. Taken Taken over as uh, as the other side hex P does have that one man advantage which is uh, which can play a very big part when it comes to S and D. Definitely, you don't want to be flank. That's the worst thing. I almost feel like if someone gets away with a flank, they can almost take out your whole team because they're just totally unaware that somebody's there. Now, I really like the A setups and going for it, but it doesn't always work, and that's what we've seen now twice where. You're able to pick up a double kill. You just gotta be very careful of your positioning and not playing too close at the same time. And there's that flank we were talking about finally coming up as soon as Slap turns his attention away from it. Unfortunate. XPGaming.com. Does uh, <laughs> the Rebels in Pink have a have a website yet? Not yet. No, but I do. Well. You know I do, actually, Holly. I know you're... You gonna, do? I'm going to stop the you Turbo there. The Turbo Show. Yeah, it's, a, it's the TurboShow.com. And I actually just got on the Facebook yesterday. The Facebook. Yeah, I got, the. On, got on the Facebook yesterday. So it's Facebook.com <laughs> slash the Turbo Show. Or if you go to the TurboShow.com, check all my stuff out there. I do have a... I do have a... I mean, I'm just going to throw this out there. I do have a YouTube channel. Not much on it just yet. I'm waiting to see uh, what's cleared from QuakeCon to throw that up there. And... Uh, YouTube.com slash the Turbo Show TV. Nice. The, can you believe this? The Turbo Show was already taken on YouTube? Really? And wow. it, the guy hasn't been active on it for like nine months. And I'm just like, the fuck? <laughs> He's just trying to steal your thunder, man. Oh. He wanted to be the Turbo Show. Everybody wants to be the Turbo Show. Who do uh, Holly, you <laughs> want to be the Turbo Show. <laughs> uh. My team has a YouTube though, and we got partnered. I I think I told you guys that a little while ago, but we finally just got everything cleared, and now we're finally getting to claim our videos. So people should probably go subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube. or my team's YouTube. What is it? Throw it up there. It is YouTube.com/slash/RebelsInPink. Oh. And we'll be putting out videos every week. We accidentally missed last week, but we put out four videos within our first week of it. So uh, we did slack a little bit last week. But Midgey is playing in the Pro Am. I don't know if you know that, but she got picked up by Golden Boy oh. to play in the Pro Am. So uh, she's been a little bit busier lately with that. But um, so we haven't had much time team wise. But we'll be releasing videos every week. This week we have two videos for sure that we're trying to get out. So very cool. Very cool. So be sure to check that out, guys. YouTube.com slash Rebels in Pink and YouTube.com slash The Turbo Show TV. We're going to see the bomb get planted on A by Hex P. Stuck in a 2v2 situation. Twig's going to take out Famous. Slab's going to take out Twig using his Corvette Ooh. and take out Sam Zors. He's going to be able to go for that diffuse there. Even though Sam was using that M16, that's one of those things that you were talking about, Holly, is that when you miss one of those shots... You're completely at a disadvantage just because of the time it takes to fire it up again without using, uh, uh, without using a rapid fire on it, which is is banned from all the MMG events. 
That's right. Yeah, no, it's it definitely puts you at, at such a big disadvantage. That's what I mean. you got to make those first sh shots, and that's why I'm personally not comfortable using it because I just feel like, you know, with my ACR, I know, you know, I can burst fire that thing all I want, and I can <laughs> shoot it. It's, you know, automatic. I can just keep going if I want. So I'm a lot more comfortable going that way, but just like Sam right there, he ended up getting taken out, and he just missed that one shot, and that's all it takes. Yeah, you're right. So we're going to be on board now with Slap. He's pushing up to the A side as Uber's going to take out Famous. That first kill, though, was by, uh, I think it was by Famous 2 on Hex P Pi, taking him out of the round. And now let's switch on board with Antrimus. They are just playing really slow, pushing up towards the A site. Now to give a little, uh, a little insight on this, I, I feel like that they need to be a little bit more aggressive here when they are trying to play against this uh, this Hex B team because it's something that they won't know. But they are in the lead though and, and it's all out in the end and Christo not getting that bomb down on the A site as he did get fragged. He should have kept going but uh, he mm -hmm. did get fragged and there's going to be 1 minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. Uber's going to take out Tantrum and follow that up. Taking out Christo. Bomb down now right on that first arch for Slap to go against three people. Uber, Twig, and Samzors from Hex P. Yeah, I definitely agree, though, with a, a more aggressive play. I don't mind most of the, the the players sitting back. You want one person watching your flank, and, you know, you'll want one person watching the little arch, but I feel like you should have two players kind of push up. You definitely want that bomb person to get that bomb plan off right away. I feel like on every map, rush planning is, like, the way you want to go because a lot of teams don't expect it, and once you get that bomb plant down, it's a countdown from there, and really, what, you have 40 seconds? So it's not that hard. But, um, you know, they just haven't pushed up. It's been working for them, though, so far. So, I mean, if they're going to keep going with it, there we go. And Slap gets some really good shots, but uh, there's just too many people to go up against them right there. All righty, guys, we're going to switch sides as it is a 2-2 tie now between XP and Death Row. Death Row is is down in the map count, too, in the best of seven, uh, a zero to one. We're going to see Sam using the sniper. He is always pulling it out in the beginning, but not never really firing a shot. He did see somebody, so he's going to switch over to his M16. I think a lot of people just do that, and I've seen it a lot. And back when we used to use the thermal L86, I say back when because we don't prefer to use it anymore because it's banned from a lot of stuff. You mean, you mean back um, in the day, like like two months ago? Yeah, exactly. See, like back in history. <laughs> but um, a lot of people just use that as more of a vantage point to see a lot of crossovers. Not so much if you can get a kill, that's sweet, but a lot of people use it to, you know, you as a call-out spot more than to see who's going where, so... All right, my phone went off for some reason. Anyway, we're going to see Famous take the final kill cam, though, on Sam's or is knocking him out. That's going to be a 3-2 lead right now for Death Row over the guys from XP with a final kill there by Famous on Sam's or is with a final kill cam using the PP90M1. Look at the scoreboard, 10-3 for Uber. Wow. Oh, he's definitely repping for his team right there. Looks like the rest he of the guys. He is definitely need to repping those for skills. his team. Not only is he wearing the clan tag or the the team tag and his gamer tag to rep the team, but he's getting kills done. He's going out. He doesn't want to lose this one, you know. Would you, would you say he's double it double repping it? Double repping. Yeah, we can go there. I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see the first kill though of off on Twig. As he did get a nice grenade on him, Samozors. In fact, is sitting at zero and three. I didn't notice that until now, Holly. Yeah, I just don't think he's uh, gotten the chance to do anything. But he sat back a lot. He hasn't really pushed up to be able to be getting in those kills. And Uber's been playing a lot quicker. And there's Sam just actually took a chance trying to go out and did get that. And we see a one v one now with XP Uber and Sideways Effect Famous going up against each other right here. And I like what he is doing. He's leaving Bomb pretty far behind. I think he has enough time, though, that he can do that, kind of flank around. He can probably move a lot quicker than Uber. I didn't see what Uber was using. I think he's using his rifle, but um, he's doing the right thing. Use the speed to your advantage. You can cover a lot more ground right here, so got to do what you got to do. Maybe Uber knows Bomb is down, and he's going to stay there and not expect the fuck, but we'll see. One minute left on the clock here as Famous is in a 1v1 situation between... Are we doing golf talk? And now, yeah. Famous is in a 1v1 between him and Uber. 
He does have to go to the bomb, though. If he does want to help his team out and win the round, we do hear the victory drums playing right now. Famous does have to go for this kill. I'm down. I'm sure, in fact, he did not spot Uber there. Tying the game up 3-3. Three to three. A quiet round of applause. Golf clap. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to see it as Uber is able to tie it up for his team in this uh, S&D on Underground. Looking at the kills, though, just sitting at that 12 in 3 for Uber. That's huge. They're definitely going to get uh, defense on that side just for his team because he has uh, maybe about 5 kills less than everybody on the other squad. You know, I, he's almost like a one-man army right now. He doesn't even need his team. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. He does. He does. But uh, he definitely is the reason that they got defense, and that's quite obvious. Now, we have one person here watching, uh, or dropping, sorry, the uh, the donut, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> but uh, Damn. No, he didn't. <laughs> you didn't uh you know that happens you know everybody has a bad game this maybe this isn't sam's map or maybe he just needs to pick it up maybe uber's gonna give him a talking to after this have you ever seen that movie due date that's what it's gonna be like what are you a girl or something <laughs> what are you a girl or something <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what you gotta do motivate him you, you call him a girl yeah what are you a girl or something well when i'm trying to motivate my team i'm like what are you a boy or something and then we end up destroying people so it goes both ways, you know, whatever you're into. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to see Famous, though, take out Twig from XP as he is now in a 3v3 situation. Evening the odds up a little bit. Let's see where Chriso is. Chriso is trying to get that bomb down on the run, but Uber was able to stop him, knocking it back down to a 2v3. Famous is in a little battle right now between him and somebody else as Pi is able to take out Slap in a 1v3. And this would be sick if Samzorus finally came in here and took out uh, Famous to get a, at least a, a, a breadstick. That's right. You know, maybe me and my team decided to call a 2 a strudel, which sounds really weird. But I feel like that way, no matter what happens, Sam is still in the bakery. Nope. Oh, when he gets taken out, doesn't even matter. 0-5. Oh he got a breadstick on, you know, assists, if that you know, counts for anything if we're going to be nice, but it doesn't. I'm not going to be that really nice. Doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good try. That's all that really is. Like, good try. You shot at someone and didn't get the kill. <laughs> yep, Sam is my boy, so you know what? I'm not going to not gonna really say much bad about him. Uh, we're going to see nope. Famous there, and Famous can't close it off. Uber is going to win it out for his team, 4-3, to three going having them go up in the map count 2-0 two, two to zero against Death Row. Good job. Uh, take that one a win, but famous, famous almost had that one there. He did, he did. He got that good flank on Pi. He could have gotten away with it. Oh, uh, I think my Xbox froze. Oh no! Or the Freddy up John. Are you in the lobby? Oh yeah, I'm in it now. That was really weird. You, okay. you gotta get those hacks yeah. off. You gotta get those hacks off. I can't hear the noise now, though. <gasps> My god. Oh no! I don't know what happened. <laughs> well, uh, what is it? Once again, guys, thanks for tuning in. Turbo here from the Turbo Show, joined by She's Electric, doing a show match between Hex P and uh, Death Row. Hex P is up in the map count, 2 to 0. Uh, against Death Row. We're going to be going into a CTF arcade now. That is actually my favorite CTF. Let's see where um, Holly put Dome in here. I'm just wondering. The last map. Why? Because I'm so sick of seeing Dome. <laughs> uh, Don't you remember that? We're, you and me showcasted it three times in a oh row. Oh my god. For that tournament. You remember that? Yeah, that was fun. But uh, I love I love Dome. Just saying. Mm -hmm. I love Dome. Or, yeah. All right. That's, are you trying to make a joke right now? No, not at all. What are you talking about? You love dome, hey? <laughs> you just Giving or receiving. What are you talking about? I don't know. Just sorry. I I thought we were talking about something else. Can we be professional for like two seconds, Holly? No. <laughs> What's professional even mean? I, I can tell you don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're dipping into a CTF on Arcaden, guys, with...